Hello everybody. Welcome to my new Blender modeling tutorial. Today we want to model a Swabian pretzel in Blender which we want to use in our vending machine DAP course. The characteristic features of a Swabian pretzel are its thick belly and thin ends. So, for a better understanding, let us first integrate our Swabian pretzel reference image into Blender. Press Shift A, Image, Background and select the provided reference image. We place it at the center of our workspace. Make sure that the 3D cursor is placed at the world origin by pressing Shift S, Cursor to world origin. Now we can begin to model the pretzel. We start to model the pretzel with a circle. Press Shift A, select curve and then circle. Enhance the circle to the borders of the pretzel. Be sure to switch into edit mode so that you can manipulate the curve by the handles. This process is a little bit tricky and artful. It depends on your skills and I muse appreciate that I don't have them, yet. With time and lots of practice you will master it. At the moment we have a closed circle, but what we want to have is an open one with two ends. So we select two weight points at the bottom and delete them. This gives us the possibility to extruse the ends according to our Bresel figure. We model now the left-hand side of the pretzel by extrusing the endpoint and adjusting it according to the reference image. If you need more weight points you can select two of them and make a subdivision. But you have to be very careful in switching between extrusion and moving the weight points because it is very easy to import too much edges and making the model too complicated. Also remember to do the modeling in top view so that you model the pretzel in one plane. Try to use as few weight points as you can and work with the corresponding handles. You get a feeling about how to use them effectively after a while. Just try it out, don't hesitate. As you can see, I try to manipulate the waiting points and their handles till I think to have a smooth looking curve which extrapolate the left hand side of the pretzel as close as I could think about it. After we have finished the left hand side of the pretzel, we can start to model the right hand side of it with the same method. Extrude the endpoint by pressing E. Place the waiting point in a good strategic position and manipulate the handles till you get a smooth curve which extrapolate the pretzel. Finishing the right-hand side of the pretzel allows us to go over to the curve manipulation. By having selected the Bezier Circle object in the scene collection, please select the Object Data Properties tab. Go to Geometry, Bevel and adjust the depth of the round attribute. Now you get an idea of why we have done the things as we have done them, do you? Of course, this is just the idea of a Swabian pretzel. We have to model out the details and start with the endpoints. As you can see in the reference image, the left-hand endpoints is going under the pretzel, the right-hand endpoint is going over the pretzel. Let us start with the left endpoint which intersects with the pretzel at the bottom. We need to have one more weight point near the left-hand side endpoint to move down that area more smoothly. We introduce this additional weight point by subdivision. Place this new weight point near the end point. Select this weight point and the end point and move both of them down by constraining to the Z axis. 
You can do this by pressing G and Z afterwards. Now we can take care about the right side of the pretzel. We use the same method as on the left hand side. Select the two weight points at the end and move them at the top by constraining the Z axis. You can do this by pressing G and then Z. Let us now have a look at the reference image again. We have one more problematic area, the intersection of the right and left hand sight loops at the bottom junction. You can see, that the right loop first went over the left hand side loop and then it went under it. Let us try to model this area. We use the same method as we used by modeling the endpoints. Select the weight points of the right hand side of the loop and move them a little bit higher. As you can see, when we try to lower the loop, there is a ugly kink at the loop. We can solve this by adding an additional weight point. Let us select the next weight point to the right end and make a subdivision. It is easier now to move the right loop under the left one to get a smoother occurrence. You can see how I try to play with the handles of the weight points to get a nicer transition of the loops. Now we can move up the left hand side loop a little bit and here we are. We have our pretzel knot. We are now almost done with the curve editing of the pretzel. The endpoints need a little bit more attention, because I think they are too short. So we make one last extrusion of the endpoints to let them fit better with the reference image. This was the last action in curve editing mode. As you can see in the reference image, we have to enlarge some parts of the pretzel body, but we can't do this in curve editing mode. We have to switch to mesh editing mode. We can convert the curve to a mesh by switching to object mode and select object, convert, mesh. We have now converted the curve to a mesh and can go on to model the pretzel shape further. We start by finishing the loop endpoints. First of all, we have to be sure that we have selected the pivot point to be the median point of a selection. Next, we select the last circle of an end loop by pressing the Alt key and selecting one segment of the end circle. After that, we extrude the selection multiple times and scale it down until we have a nice looking end.
At the end we close this endpoint by facing it up. To do this, we need to select three or more vertices and then press the F key to create a face between them. The best way is to select four vertices to form a quad and then pressing the F key. Let us go into solid mode and doing this. You can fasten the process by double pressing the F key. We repeat the process with the left end loop. Selecting the last circle. Extruding it. Scale it down. Repeat it three times and face up the end by selecting four vertices to form a quad and pressing the F key. Up to this point everything was clear and fine to me, but then things got worse. First of all, I have misinterpreted the reference image of the pretzel. The endpoints of a pretzel always connect above the main body, never below of it. This is the first point which have to be fixed. The second point is that the loop endpoints should never overlap the main body. I have to cut them on both sides. The last and most important point is the fact that after I wanted to enhance the main body to look more like a Swabian pretzel, I recognize the problem that the segment rings of the body doesn't fit nicely after scaling them up. I tried to model them vertice after vertice, but things got worser and worser. I stopped this modeling tutorial at this point and will start it again with a better plan. But now I need a break, being a little bit disappointed about the result. But, I have learned something new and had a lot of fun. See you later. And please don't forget to like and subscribe.